Next, may I invite Srimati Nandita Das Ji, Honorable Mem MLA from Assam, for sharing her thoughts on the theme, Role of Women in India's Freedom Struggle. Over to you, ma'am. Namaskar, good afternoon. Uh, respected Srimati Shubhashini Ali Ji, she is former MP Lok Sabha. Sanmaniya Bihar ke MLA Pratima Kumari Ji. Sanmaniya Punjab ke MLA Anmal Almol Gagan Manji, Sanmania MLA, uh, Sanmania MP, former MP Respect P. Sathe Devi Ji, MLA Kerala CK Asha Ji. Sabhi ko namaskar, idhar jitne bhi log hai, delegates hai, uh, different uh, states se aaye hai, MLAs and other dignitaries, sabko mera namaskar pranam. I feel very proud to be here in this valued conference organized by the KLA in connection with the Ajadi Ka Amrit Mahotsab. Kuchhi samay pehle, humare madam, former MP Shubhash Shini ji ne jitne bhi baate hume bataye hai regarding role of women in India's freedom struggle. Bhot saare baate unhe apne speech mein bataye hai बहुत अच्छा लगा हमें तो इतना मालूम ही नहीं था कि इतना सारा महिला जो ऑल ओवर इंडिया में डिफरेंट कोने में फ्रीडम स्ट्रगल में इतने काम किए हैं और मैं केले के स्पीकर राजेश जी को भी धन्यवाद देना चाहती हूं बिकॉज़ उन्होंने जो प्रोग्राम यहां ऑर्गेनाइज किया नेशनल वुमेन लेजिस्लेटर कॉन्फ्रेंस और आज का जो सेशन है इस सेशन के जरिए हमें बहुत सारे बातें आज सुनने को और कुछ बोलने को भी सुविधा दिया इसके लिए बहुत-बहुत धन्यवाद राजेश जी रिगार्डिंग फ्रीडम फाइटिंग में जो लड़ाई महिला ने लड़े थे हमारे आसाम का भी बहुत सारे महिला है जिन्होंने भी अपने को बलिदान दिया है लेकिन देखा जाता है कि बहुत समय उनके बारे में सुनना उनके लिए उनके कंट्रीब्यूशन के बारे में चर्चा करना यह लगता है रह जाता है जितना होना चाहिए था उतना होता नहीं है इसीलिए आज जो सेशन है ये सेशन में मैं ज्यादा कुछ नहीं बोलूंगी कुछ मेरे आसाम के जो एमएलए हैं जो हमारे आसाम के जो महिला है जो लेडीज थे जो आजादी के लड़ाई में काम किए थे अपने को बलिदान दिए थे उन लोगों के बारे में कुछ ही शब्द में आपके सामने रखूंगी आई एम नंदिता दास एन इलेक्टेड एमएलए ऑफ इंडियन नेशनल कांग्रेस फ्रॉम बोको कॉन्स्टिट्यूएंसी ऑफ आसाम लेजिस्लेटिव असेंबली मेनी डेलीगेट्स विल बी स्पीकिंग अबाउट द कंट्रीब्यूशन ऑफ इंडियन वुमेन इन फ्रीडम मूवमेंट इन इलैबोरेट मैनर आई एम नॉट feeling it necessary to repeat it again. In the context of Assam, which is said to be the gateway to Northeast India, it would be wrong if the contribution of the Assamese women is not recognized and acknowledged. Freedom fighter Kanaklata Borua died at the tender age of 17, trying to hoist the national flag at Gopur police station during the Quit India movement. Freedom fighter Vogeshwari Fukononi was also shot dead at the same day and died three days later. At that time, Manipur was an integral part of Assam province. A Naga le leader, Rani Gaiduli, Gaidilu, was given life imprisonment by British government at the age of 16 when she was in jail in Shillong. Nehruji visited her and conferred her the title of Rani. She was also given the Padma Bhushan award later. I come from the land of Mula Gavuru, who was the first female martyr of Assam, an Ahum daughter who died fighting to save Assam from the invasion of the Sultan of Bengal. 
Reboti Lahon was the first Assamese woman to be sent to cellular jail in Andaman. Motiu Nessa, a daughter of freedom fighter Sahadev Munshi, gave birth to a child in jail. There are many more examples of women who bear the hardship of freedom struggling along with men but are yet to be recognized. When Gandhiji visited Assam, he was welcomed by an Assamese named Bar Raja with a nicely woven cloth of hand spun thread. He complimented, Assam would rise to its full height in the matter of Swadeshi. Its women can weave more than enough for themselves. The encouragement from Gandhi made a lot of women start weaving clothes. The promotion of spinning and weaving was one of the major constructive programs of the freedom struggle and now this has become one of the largest industry in Assam with 95% women workers. Women in Assam joined the movement in large number. Many satagrahi training centers for women were open in different parts of Assam. The women of Assam understood Gandhiji's concept of do or die in their own way and participated in all types of activity, in all types of activity. In most urban areas, the students, the boys and girls continued to play in various underground activities, organizing themselves into that squad known as Mittu Bahini. Kanaklata Borua one of was one of the frontline members of the Mrittu Bahini. The year 1942 was to be was to be momentous year for the people of Assam. The, uh, the Congress Working Committee adopted a resolution for Quit India movement. Accordingly in Assam, also in various in various districts geared up for the movement. The Dorong District Congress Committee decided to hoist national flag on the police station and court buildings. Kanaklata Borua led the procession of men and women coming from nearby villages for hoisting the national flag at Gohapur police station. The police opened fire at the processionist at Gohapur and Dhekiajuli and killed Kanaklata Borua, Kahuli Devi and Kamuli Devi on the spot. After the call of for Swadeshi movement by Gandhiji, women in large number threw away their foreign clothes and made bonfire of them. Women in Assam organized picketing in front of shops dealing with foreign clothes, liquor, and opium. They also resorted to a number of underground activities which included disruption of communication by cutting telegraph and telephone lines. Sometimes even destroying building and railway lines and burning government buildings. Needless to say that these freedom fighters who had chosen this revolutionary path had to face untold miseries. Often they walk for days together without a wink of sleep or a morsel of food, exposing their lives to great risk. They used to visit different places and carried secret messages and propagated the underground movement. Sudhalata Datta once covered a distance of 142 kilometers on foot with a child on her lap. This struggle of women headed by women organization was also the struggle for emancipation. Providing them a public space, it gave them a space to define a self-image in terms of an individual and separate identity rather than the traditional identity of being someone's daughter, wife, or mother. It is for this reason that the British Prime Minister declared in 1930 that who they are afraid of was not Gandhiji, but the innumerable women of India who became the mouthpiece of the message of the revolt in every household. No military force could suppress such an awakening. This is a short description of the freedom struggle of women in Assam, which is placed in this August assembly for information to all concerned. 
Thank you very much, and my deep thanks to the organizing agency, especially our speaker, sir, for giving me and the other speakers the opportunity to speak my speech in this valued platform. Once again, thanks to all. मैं यहीं पे हमारा स्पीच खत्म करना चाहती हूँ एंड करना चाहती हूँ क्योंकि मेरा बाद में बहुत सारे स्पीकर हैं सो थैंक्स टू एवरीवन थैंक यू केले